morning everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Michael. And I'm Puria. And we're here today for Club Lexus to review the 2021 IS350 F Sport in all of its semi-glory. <laughs> There's some glory, but it's missing a couple things. We're gonna get into that. Tell us about the F-Sport package. So the F-Sport package, it has unique front and rear bumpers, grille surround, rear spoiler and exhaust tips, F-Sport 19-inch lightweight forged staggered alloy BBS wheels finished in matte black. Whoa, they are good looking. They are. And on the interior, we have the F-Sport bolstered heated and ventilated front seats, as well as F-Sport heated ash wood trim steering wheel and driver selectable drive modes eco normal sport sport s and sport s plus Ooh. as well as custom yeah this one also has i think the radio is an upgrade and it's got a carbon fiber rear wing which is pretty cool and unfortunately when, when toyota and lexus give you cars to loan they don't give you the window sticker so i don't know the exact price of our specked out model, but based on the options that I see around here, I think this is about a fifty-four dollars to $55,000 car, uh, which I think is important to think about as Absolutely. we consider it. Maria, let's talk about the exterior design. What do you think? of the car. I've talked about the design of the new Lexus IS, but this is my first time sort of seeing it in person. And it looks just as good in the photos as it does in person. I think there's a lot of really interesting lines and new volumes that Toyota has added. The previous generation felt a little bit too crease happy. Like there was just too many lines everywhere for me. Uh, and this generation sort of simplified that a little bit more. Uh, the volumes have a little bit more assertiveness to them. And uh, in my opinion, it looks very modern and uh, it looks like a successful exterior design in my opinion. Cool, man. Yeah, I 100% agree. When this thing pulled into my driveway, when the loaner company dropped it off for our review period, I was completely blown away. But it's got wider hips. It's got this blacked out grill, which is very reminiscent of the of the LC500, which we reviewed a couple months ago. And on this sedan, I think it looks really good. Overall, I think the car looks beautiful, and I think Lexus is absolutely killing it with their metallic paint options right now. This metallic blue is beautiful. So overall, I think it's, a, particularly with the blackout grille, carbon fiber in the back, black wheels, dark blue metallic color, this is a beautiful car. interior of the Lexus IS350 F Sport. This one has the F Sport seats, which are fantastic. It's still got the weird Lexus mouse pad thing to get into the infotainment system, but it's also a touch screen. You got your Apple CarPlay, you got your Android Auto, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, uh, tons of trunk space. But overall, I think this is a fantastic place to commute, to do a road trip. It's just really, really comfortable, really ergonomic, and I think it's really well thought out. It's, an, it's another big plus for me on the, on the interior, although it's not quite as fancy as other Lexus models as you go up, up the line. It's definitely, there's some plastics here and there, even though there's a lot of nice touch, uh, soft touch spaces. The funny thing about the touchpad thing uh, <laughs> is that it feels to me like Lexus tried so hard for so many years to push that onto the customers and make them get used to it and believe in it. And now that people have finally, after seven or eight years, are actually okay with it, uh, I feel like they don't want to suddenly get rid of it, you know? They're just like, okay, you, for you guys who've had Lexus for a few years now, we'll leave this so that because you're already used to it. But for the new people, normal people that use a touchscreen like like any phone or tablet or electronic device that has been created in the past decade. We'll have this touchscreen for you so that you can be a little bit more convenient as well. But I think the overall 
uh, interior. It's an evolution of the same design theme as the previous generations of the IS. Feels nicer. I wish they would get rid of this cluster of buttons that has that has made the Lexus designs ugly for the past few years and just just make it more modern, you know? Like everybody's already figured it out. I actually disagree. I, I, I feel like, listen, I, don't, I have no problem with buttons. I just feel like they should make it more pretty. Like Right, right, right. Yeah, they are very Toyota Camry buttons. Yeah. But I do love the tactile nature of it. I think it's a very intuitive HVAC system and, and radio controls and all that stuff. It is what it is, but yeah, everybody sort of has their own design as far as the HVAC system. I'm just, all I'm saying is from a styling standpoint and a premium feeling standpoint, it is a Lexus. Sure. You might want to step up the, at least the material feel of it a little bit. Right, right, right. Since we are up here in the canyons above Los Angeles, I think it is best of us to now talk about the handling dynamics and actual performance. Honestly, like it's pretty good for what it is. I, I actually really like the suspension because with the different uh, settings, with the sport, with comfort, you can really set it to however you like it. If you're commuting, it's gonna be incredibly comfortable. That's Lexus's bread and butter. But then when you put it in uh, Sport Plus, Sport S Plus, uh, it gives you more of a stiff feeling and, and more connection to the road. Yeah, very subtle, but but definitely it's there. Yeah, the, the transmission for me is a little bit slow. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that. And the other thing that I feel like for an F Sport car, I would have liked to see more of would have been a little bit more sound, more exhaust note. Right, yeah, I mean, th that's, that's my big takeaway from this too. Lovely to commute with, lovely in the corners. I think this needs a new drivetrain. My solution to everything is that uh, I wish that uh, that Toyota Lexus would put that 5 liter V8 yeah. from the <laughs> LC500 into everything. That's right, Lexus did exactly what I wanted them to do. They're putting their 5.0 in the IS platform and I think it's going to be brilliant. With This has 311 horsepower, 280 foot-pounds of torque. It has less power than my seven-year-old Cadillac and the driving dynamics are pretty similar, so it just feels heavier to me personally. Now, I know the F-Sport isn't necessarily the same as your M or AMG and yeah. like those types of performance brands, but at the same time, I just wish, I wish it had more power. I wish the transmission was faster. I wish they went with Michelin for the tires. These tires, they skate a little bit under 60 degrees, whereas the Pilot Sport All Seasons or Pilot Sport 4 S's from Michelin are better. Yeah, Poria is right. I just wish we could hear it. This car sounds good on the inside, but kind of weak on the outside. Everything's, I think it's all pumped in induction noise. You get a nice sensory experience when you're driving it, but again, it's to me, it's underpowered for its uh, size and weight and I think with more power this would be pretty epic but as it stands it's kind of f-sport light <laughs> yeah and I think the f-sport sort of raises our expectations at the end of the day yep bottom line is that this is basically just a nicer version of the is350 and that's about it <music> Wrapping things up with the 2021 Lexus IS350 F Sport. Perea, two questions for you. Would you ever buy one? Ooh, and I knew who that was coming. <laughs> right, right? And who should buy one? I would personally not buy one. Yeah, same for me, same for me. Yeah, it's, because it's just a, a car, you know? Like, I, I'm the type of person that I would rather have some sort of a character. I want my car to be an extension of me to represent who I am and I think this car doesn't do, just doesn't really do it for me and I think the people who should buy it is literally anybody who wants a nice luxury sports sedan I think it's perfect for what it is all you're gonna be doing is commuting very comfortably you know having fun a little bit of fun uh, sticking your elbows out on the back roads if you need <laughs> at the end of the day you just want something that looks good and this is is this does all of that 
really, really well. Right, right, right. As a sports sedan, it's not great. Doesn't have the power and the drivetrain elements to back up the badging, I guess you'd say. Yeah. But overall, I think if you're looking for a commuter car that is beautiful, has lots of great amenities, is comfortable, and is gonna have that Lexus reliability, you know, this thing's gonna last forever, like all Lexus cars. So great looks, great design, beautiful colors, you know, lovely interior, and a nice driving experience. It's yeah. not horrible, it's just not super fast, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I'm just not amazed, and I think it's just because this car can't cash the checks, its visual elements are creating in my mind. Like, this looks like a beast, and, and it's not. It's just a lovely driving car. Right. Yeah, I, I agree with that entirely. Cool. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are well and safe. Please head over to the Club Lexus forums to join us there. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all those places. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, and we will see you on the next video. Again, I'm Michael. I'm Puria. For ClubLexus.com, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.